good morning students welcome to your max class today we are going to revise unit 1 so i hope you all have your unit 1 notes also take your book and be attentive use this revision time before that let me show you the portion you know our government reduce some portions before that you have to know what are the portions we have to revise in unit 1 look at this content page in this page 1.1 1 1.2 1 then 1 1.3 1 1.4 so 1 1.1 to 1 1.4 we have totally four sections so today we are going to revise up to exercise 1.1 exercise 1.1 remaining portions we can continue in that next class listen unit 1 set language so look at the mathematician the theory of set was developed by mathematician George Cantor he is German mathematician his name is John Cantor. So let's go through that. The unit is set language. What is mean by set? I, I hope you already learned when you are in the online class. So set. Set definition is given here. Look at. Set is a well-defined object. Look at set. Set is a well-defined object. What is the meaning of well-defined? Look at the examples are given here. Look at the first picture. The picture contains only the fruits. So we can say it is a set of fruits. We can't allow here vegetables. Because if it is set means that should be well defined. So we can say it is a set of fruits. So look at here the here that is the set of next one is a set of electrical items. So Set definition is very important. Set is a well defined collection of examples are given here. The collection of all books in the district central library, the collection of all colors in the rainbow, then the collection of prime numbers so these are the example of set okay next look at how can we express the set how can we express the set so we have some proper method to express the set if you fail to do that definitely you will get wrong mark so you should follow it properly a set is usually denoted by capital letters we can we should name the set as with capital letters set with capital alphabets as your wish you can use you have 26 alphabets as your wish you can use any alphabet but that should be capital letter example they given us capital a capital b capital p capital q capital x capital y etc they given here also uh, for example, look at down, consider the set A. They are given in capital letters. Okay, they denote the set in capital letter. Next one, the element of a set is written with the curly bracket. I hope you all know this bracket, curly brackets. Now come down for the example, look at that. This They use the curly bracket here, curly bracket. So always you should use the set in curly bracket. Next, if X is the element of a set A or X belongs to A, we can write this is we can say as yes, X belongs to. This, it is looking like E. Am I right? Actually, we have to pronounce that belongs to X belongs to. A. It is known as X belongs to A. If X is an element of A, for example, come down and look at the example. For example, consider the set A equal to 2, 3, 
5 7 so this contains only four elements the elements are 2 3 5 and 7 so look at next one 2 is the element of a you can see that then we can say 2 belongs to a 5 is the element of a then we can say that we can write that 5 belongs to a look at next one 6 they consider the letters uh, the number 6 look at there is that in that set no the set contain only 2 3 5 and 7 it doesn't contain the number 6 so we, we can say that 6 does not belongs to a if a is not an element of the set a then we can say x does not belongs to a so if that's an element we can say it is belongs to if that's not an element we can say that does not belongs to example is given Example 1.1. Look at the example 1.1. Consider the set. Consider the set A. This is the question. A equal to, they are given in capital letter because that is set. A equal to Ashwin. Set of all Ashwin, Murali Vijay, Vijay Shankar, Batrinath. So, four cricketer name that's a cricketer name for the, the set a contains four cricketers the question is fill in the blanks with the appropriate symbol belongs to or does not belongs to you know that where we have to use belongs to and where we can use the does not belongs to so if that's the element we can use belongs to if that's not the element we can belong we can use does not belongs to first one murali vijay look at murali vijay dash a Look at Murali Vijay is in the set A or not? Yeah, Murali Vijay is in the set of A. So we can say that Murali Vijay belongs to the set A. Ashwin dash A. Then tell me, look at the set A. Ashwin is in the set A. So we can say Ashwin is belongs to the set A. Batinath. Look at there. Batinath also in the set A. So we can say Batinath belongs to A. Ganguly. Look at we have only four names but Ganguly is not there. So we can say Ganguly does not belongs to A. Then Tendulkar. Tendulkar also not there. So we can say that Tendulkar does not belongs to set A. So a solution is given there you can check using this we are going to use we are going to do some exercise you can clear about that so next one is representation of set how can we represent the set we have few methods to represent the set okay the first one is descriptive form the meaning of descriptive is Descriptive form a set is described in words. So before we use that in symbol, look A equal to set of all. Not like that. That should be in words. Okay. For example, the set of all vowels in English alphabets. They are given in the here is no yeah. Then the set of all all numbers it is in words okay descriptive form means words using words don't forget it next one is builder form or rule form this is the proper method of set it is the rule rule to write that so set builder form next one is set builder form otherwise rule form in set builder form all the elements are descriptive by rule so we have we are going described by rule we are going to follow rules in this set builder form. Look at that. X equal to set of all. X such that. X is vowel in English alphabets. The symbol. Look at the note. The symbol. Like a colon. Or the slash. This we have to read as such that. Look at 
look at the example x a equal to x such that set of all x such that it is known as such that otherwise the slash is known as such that okay so a equal to set of all curly bracket we are going to use for set so it is set of all x such that x is a vowel in english alphabet otherwise x such that x is a whole number next one is roster form otherwise tabular form roster form or tabular form the set can be described by listening all the elements of a set so here we are going to use numbers numer numerical method mm, this is a method usually we are we will use okay uh, the previous one is rule that's a standard form we can say there's a standard form it is casual form uh, we are using this method only so in this roster form or tabular form we can give importance to each and every elements look at that a equal to set of all the elements is given elements are a e i o u that means vowels the previous everything we we told in words that's vowels but here we given that what are the vowels the elements are a e i o u same thing b equal to 0 1 2 3 etc that means all number the previous one we said that is a whole number but here we given importance to the elements 0 1 2 3 etc okay I hope you are remember all these three methods. One is descriptive form, next one is set builder form, other is rule form, next one is roster form or tabular form. You have question to do that. Look at the next example 1.2. Write the set of letters of the following words in roster form. So roster form means last form. Usually we will use we will give importance to the elements. So look at the first one. Assessment. So we have to write that set of numbers, set of letters. Okay, we have to write the set of letters. So you know assessment. We have some letters. What are the letters we are using? That letters we have to take and write. So x equal to capital X. We are using because we are going to write the set of letters. There is a set, so you can use the capital. X capital X equal to set of all the elements are letter A then let next letter is yes again next letter is yes yes do you no know, need to write that because already we written the yes then E then next again two yeses are there already we written the yes then M E already written N T I hope you understand that the same principle principle set of letters we are using here p r i n c i already written so we'll just leave it p already written leave it then a l okay now come to exercise 1.1 just try to answer with me okay exercise 1.1 which of the following are set before that remember what is set Set is a well defined object. Am I right? Set is a well defined collection of object. Well defined collection of object. So the collection of prime number up to 100. Is it a set? Tell me is it a set? Yes. It is a set because it is well defined. Well defined they given the numbers the number should be prime number so it is well defined so we can say it is a set next one the collection of rich people in india is it a set those who are rich then tomorrow they can be poor those who are poor tomorrow they can be rich that's not in our hand so it is not well defined so it is not a set next one the collection of third one collection of all rivers in india now you know that so many rivers are in india so that is well defined you cannot change it the collection of good hockey players what is this good hockey players can you say that good hockey players those who perform well we can say that persons are good the next next match they cannot be performed well so we cannot say 
good player or not so it is not a set because it's not well defined okay so first one completed next one the set of all letters the set of all letters of the following word in roster form so you know about roster form can you do that india first one is india how can you write you can denote the set with any english alphabet for example only one problem i'll do now i can use the english alphabet a to denote the let's uh, denote the set this is a equal to tell me what are the set you can use the curly bracket the letters are i then n then d then i already written a so using this letter we can form this word india so don't forget it i hope you all know this because it's very very simple thing let's go to the remaining problems um uh, remaining means india we did now the next 2 3 and 4 try it third one we can go to the third one consider the following set a equal to set of all 0 one, 2 1 3 5 8 then b is given c is given look at the third problem consider the following set a is given then b is given and c is given state whether true or false they are asking a is belong to c you know the meaning of belongs to if 18 is in the set c we can say 18 belongs to c so check the set c not a not b just look at the set c and tell me in set c we have 12 14 18 and 20 look at 18 is here in the set c so this statement is true 18 belongs to c that is true like that can you check the remaining second one look at the second one 6 does not belongs to a look at in the set a they said that a is not sorry 6 is not in a check it yeah 6 is not in a so we can say it is correct statement so have to do the remaining like the same the 14 does not belongs to c look at c 14 is in c why they are given that 14 does not belongs to c that is wrong next fourth one 10 belongs to b yeah in in the set b we have 10 here so we can say 10 belongs to b it's right now b part look at the b part 3 belongs to which set in that question they given three set the sets are a b c they given that three sets they are asking 3 belongs to which set look at a check a yeah in a there is 3 so we can say that 3 belongs to the set a next one 14 belongs to which set 
Set where is 14? 14 is not in A. 14 is not in B. 14 is in C. So we can say 14 belongs to the set C. Capital C. Okay. Then 18 belongs to or does not belongs to B. Check it. B. B there is no 18. So 18 does not belongs to B. 4 dash B. Look at 4 in B. Yeah, here it is B. You have 4. So, we can say 4 belongs to B. Clear? Fourth problem. Look at the fourth problem. Represent the following set in roster form. You know about roster form? Roster form means we have to describe the set with the elements. We have to describe the set with elements. Look at the set A. A equal to set of all even natural numbers less than 20. So, this is a set A. They are given in the capital letter. You know, it is in the form of descriptive form. It is in descriptive form. We have to write that in roster form. So, we can write that set A equal to. So we, have, we are going to describe with elements. What are the elements? Tell me. Set of all even natural numbers. So you know about even numbers. Even number means 2, 4, 6, etc. But that should be less than 20. Not 20. That should be less than 20. How? You can write that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 the next number is 20 but we don't need that they ask only the numbers less than 20 so we can stop up to that 18 clear now okay next we can go to the next one b equal to set of all why such that y equal to 1 by 2 n this this n belongs to capital n capital n means set of all natural number also the number n less than or equal to 5. You now the national numbers start from 1, 2, 3, etc. up to infinity. But we need the numbers less than or equal to 5. We need only the numbers up to 5 enough. So, the set will be b equal to set of all. Y, how the y will be? If you put 1 for n, we will get... 1 by 2 into 1. If you put 2 for this n, 2 into 2. Then if you put 3 for this n, 2 into 3. Then 2 into 4. Next 1 by 2 into 5. Do we need to use 6? No need because they given the rule as n less than or equal to 5. So, how the set will be? B equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 6, 1 by 8 and 1 by 10. This is the question. So, we return that in roster form. This question is in, tell me, this question is in set builder form. Otherwise, ruler form. We change that into the roster form. Next question. C equal to set of all yes, x such that x is a perfect cube. Then 27 less than x less than 216. So it is in the form of set builder form otherwise roster form. We have to write that in sorry, set builder form otherwise ruler form. We have to write that in roster form. So C equal to. So this x will be. Yeah, our elements are x. This x will be a perfect cube number. What is in the cube? So 1 cube is 1 into 1 into 1. That is 1. 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2. That is 2 to are 4. 4 to are 8. 3 cube is 3 into 3, 9. 9 into 3, 27. So look at our question. Our x in between the number 27. The number 27. Also the number 216. So in between that, what are the numbers will come? That are the answers. So 27 are there. 4 cube. What is the 4 cube number? Tell me. 4 into 4. 
4 4 are 16, 16 into 4 64, then 5 cube, 25, 25 into 5, 125, so we can write 125, just we can try that in uh, 6 cube, 6 cube is 6 into 6 into 6, 6, 6 are 36 into the 6, what will come? 6, 18, plus 3, so next one is 216, so in between 27 and 216, we have the number 64 and 125, next one. A equal to set up for x such that x belongs to is and and minus 5 less than x less than or equal to 2. So we have to write in roster form our set D will be D equal to our x elements will be 5 less than or equal to is that mean integer set up for integer how the is that will be etc minus numbers will come minus 10 minus 9, minus 8, etc. minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, this set of all integers, this, our set start from not minus 5, so minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, less than or equal to they given so we can use 2 also here they didn't given the equal to if they given equal to we can use minus y but they didn't give equal to so we should not use the minus y okay next problem number 5 represent the following set in set builder form no set builder builder form means you have to use the proper rule because another name of the set builder form is ruler form B equal to set of all the cricket players in the in, in India who scored double century in one day international crickets. So it is in the form of descriptive form. We have to write that in builder form. So how can you write B equal to set of all X such that X X is X is an Indian player who scored double century that's all clear now you have to use set up all X then X such that you can use the slash otherwise you can use this two dots Next one, second one, C equal to, they are given in that, um, which form, roster form, we have to write that in set builder form, so C equal to set of all, look at, here they denoted as 1, 2, 3, etc, the numerator will be 1, 2, 3, etc, so we can write again by so if there is one here they given us two that means one number more than two if there is two the one number more than two if there is three one number more than four so if there are four, n one number more than n that is n plus one okay this is the form, okay, this I said that, this is the form of that given number. How can we write that? C equal to set of all x such that x equal to, x which is in the form of n by n plus 1. Also, this n belongs to natural numbers because we didn't use 0. If we use 0, we can say if there is all number. We didn't use the negative numbers, so that's not in integers. Just we use only the numbers start from 1 to etc. So that is known as natural number. Clear now? Next one. D, the, D equal to the set of all Tamil months in a year. What are the Tamil months in a year? How can you write it? 
be equal to set of all x such that x is a terminal months in a year. That's all. Simple thing. Next one. Can you do that? Just try this one. Next one. Represent the following sets in descriptive form. You know about descriptive form means you are going to describe in words. That is known as descriptive form. P equal to January, June and July. What? How can we write it? What is the similarity there? Yeah, all the months start from J. You have 12 months. Can you find any other months start from J? In January to December? No, only these three months start from J. So, in descriptive form, you can say that P equal to the set of English months start from starting with the letter J or J the set of all English months starting with the letter J this is next one Q equal to Look at the number 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. These all are odd, not odd, sorry. These are prime numbers. These are prime numbers. You know about prime numbers? Prime number means you can, the factor should be 1 and the number itself. You can't find any other, any more factors. That is known as prime numbers. So how can we write that in descriptive form? Q equal to. There should not be any symbol. There should not be any words. Any numbers you are going to describe using words. The set of all prime numbers. Between 5 and 31. We are not including this 5. We are not including with 31. In between that the prime numbers are. 7 to 29. Otherwise, you can write that the set of all prime numbers from 9 to 29. The next one, look at R. They are given R equal to set of all X such that X belongs to natural number. Also, X less than 5. You know, natural number start from 1, 2, 3, etc. All the positive numbers. So, we can say that R equal to set of all the set of all natural numbers less than 5. That's all. Clear? Last question you have to do that. S equal to set of all x is x is a consonant in English alphabet. So what are the consonants? You know that. But in descriptive form, we are going to express in words. So S equal to the set of all consonants in English alphabets. That's all. Just we revise the exercise 1.1. I hope you all understand that. Uh, I re-teach this portion. So students, it is the basic thing in this for your 10th, 11th and 12th. Also your higher studies. It's the basic things. Also important part of mathematics. So just give important to this lesson and study this well. All the best. Thank you.